Get ready for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Isn't it a letdown after such a big introduction and then you hear my voice coming to the microphone? Oh, gosh. Stop it. All right, I'm going to do that. All right, are we excited for night number two? Okay, so let's get right into night number two. We're talking about, remember, God's love is monumental. God's love is great. So we're going to sing our theme song, Monumental Love. seat. Okay, so if you think about it this week, we're talking about what it's like to be in the desert in the southwest with mountains and cliffs and red rocks and valleys. You might even think of something that's going to be like a really, really sandy desert. So take a second and tell your, tr your crew leader, if you're going to go on a trip to the desert or a trip like this, what are some things you would take with you? Tell your crew leader. Whoever said water's got my vote. All right, so you might have said something to camp. I heard, who said water? I heard a lot of people saying water. That'd be my number one thing. If I could bring some sweet tea and keep the ice cold, I might say sweet tea. But water would be the thing. So here's the deal. If you were to go to the Grand Canyon, which is not very far from Monument Valley, it might be a good idea to bring your bathing suit. Now, why do you think you might need your bathing suit in like a desert or in the Grand Canyon? Right? Maybe you want to swim. Maybe there's a waterfall or river. 
Well, in the Grand Canyon, there's something called Havasupi Falls. Look at how clean the water looks. Look at how cold the water looks. Isn't it amazing that even in the desert, even in a canyon, even in one of the hottest places in the country, that God still put something that awesome and that great right in the middle of the desert? That's pretty cool, right? Do we think that's cool? Okay, thank you for the three of you that just think that's awesome. Um, So what we're going to do is we're going to stand back up and we're going to celebrate and we're going to worship God for his greatness and his awesomeness. We're going to sing every praise. Calling all the worshipers. Calling all the praisers. I want everyone around the world to put your hands together right now because God and God alone is worthy of our praise. Amen. Here we go. Every praise. Every word of worship. Good job. We're going to stay on our feet. Uh Uh-oh. See, you move so quick. We're going to stay on our feet, and we're going to sing another song that we learned yesterday. Awesome God. God, he 
Good job, good job. Oh, some of you still didn't learn. Have a seat. Okay, so God is great, and one of the reasons that God is great is because He can be everywhere at one time. That's crazy to think about God being everywhere at one time. So take just a second and tell your crew leader, think about the farthest you've ever traveled from home. Maybe it was a trip, maybe it was a someone's house. Tell your crew leader the farthest you've ever traveled. Go. Who said the back corner at Walmart? Because that can really feel like a faraway land sometimes. Okay, so on the count of three, I want you to yell out to me everywhere that you just told your crew leaders, okay? One, two. Oh. One, two, three. Believe it or not, I've been there. And it was awesome. Um, so, I obviously, I couldn't understand everywhere that you said, but wherever any of you went, the farthest place that you went, God was with you everywhere that you were. That is our Bible point for today. So, when you hear someone say, God is with you everywhere, God is with you everywhere. There we go. So, when you hear that today, you just shout that out. You're never really far away and you're never really alone because no matter where we are and no matter how we feel, God is always with us. And that's pretty great. You know what? Yes, close. So close. Joshua 1.9 says, For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. We even have a song about that. Let's stand up and sing, God is with us. God is always with us.
good job. Have a seat. All right now, yesterday, we met our Bible buddy for day one. Do we see our Bible buddy on the stage somewhere? What's this Bible buddy's name? Harley. Harley. Uh, do we remember what kind of animal Harley was? Say it out loud. Gila monster. Gila monster. So what we're going to do today is we are going to move on from Harley the Gila Monster, and we are going to meet a new Bible buddy who's going to remind us that God is with you everywhere. No. God is with you everywhere. There we go. Watch day two. Hi, it's Miley, your friendly neighborhood roadrunner. My fast feet take me all over this fast desert. I typically run about 15 miles per hour, which is a lot faster than you. And for short bursts, I can run even faster. There are mammals who run a lot faster than I can, but for a bird, I'm super fast. Of course, I can fly, but I don't do it very often. Why bother? Most of my food is on the ground and I can run really fast to catch it. If I see flying food, like a bug or a bat, I can jump straight up to catch it. Want to know something really cool about the way I run? See my long, beautiful tail? It works kind of like the rudder on a boat. I can use it to steer and quickly change direction to zigzag as I run. Pretty neat. And if you ever saw my footprints, you'd know I ran by. But you wouldn't know which way I went. Your footprints make it clear which direction you're going. But my feet are shaped like X's, so they look the same forwards and backwards. Go ahead. Just guess which side of the screen I'm on. Did you guess right? Now, if you've ever run on a hot day, you probably get really thirsty. And out here in the hot, dry desert, it's important to get enough water. That's why God gave me a special system that absorbs all the water in my food. Yep, there's actually water in those scorpions, frogs, and eggs I like to munch on. Plus, any extra salt in my food comes out glands near my eyes. Salt can soak up water, so my body just gets rid of that. <coughs> the desert is hot during the day, but it can be cold at night. So God made my body do something called torpor. That's when you go into a really, really deep sleep and your body temperature drops. It helps us conserve energy so we sleep well and can run far and fast the next day. It seems like you humans like to run around too. But however you get around, it seems like you're always going from one place to another. From home, to school, to sports practices, to friends' houses, and don't forget church. Whew! All that running around even makes me feel tired. <coughs> but you know who's never too tired to keep up with you? God! In the Bible, the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, tells us, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. What an awesome promise. It's good to know that no matter where you run, God is with you everywhere. Hello again, everybody. How are we doing tonight? We're good. Okay, well, I'm up here tonight to talk to you about our missions offering for this week. Remember, we are raising money this week to help children who live on Native American reservations, to help them be able to buy school supplies for this coming year. I'm just losing my paper. Um, but last night, you guys gave almost $30. So that's almost 30 kids that we can buy school supplies for. So we're going to see what happens tonight when you give your offerings. And who remembers who was winning the offering challenge last night? The boys were winning, but not by very much, right? Are you going to beat them tonight, girls? Okay, well, well, we will count and find out. You'll find out at the very end of the night um, who is, who's winning, okay? 
So as this next song plays um, and you're singing, you can come down, you can put your offering in the, the boys or girls bucket, okay? Jumping up and down when you spin it. Y'all can have a seat. Everybody give Miss Amy a woohoo. Woo! Okay, are you guys hungry? Yeah. Me too. Okay, we're going to pray um, and go to dinner the same way we did last night. So I'll dismiss you two crews at a time and you'll go out the doors right back there, okay? Um, does anybody want to say our blessing for us tonight? I saw Miss Molly. I saw your hand first, so you can come say our blessing, okay? I'll hold it. God, thank you for this fair, and everybody that's hurt, please bless us, and um, thank you for the whole world, and thank you that you died on the cross, and thank you for everything you've done for us, and thank you for the whole world and people that you made. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're going to start with Cruz. Uh, one and two, you guys can be dismissed tonight.